Hi everybody, Peter Finch here and welcome down to this Rough Cut podcast clip with Eric Anderslang and exactly how he got to play at Augusta National, the most probably difficult course to get on in the world, I think. It's up there anyway, top two. And this clip is taken from the Rough Cut podcast. The links to that podcast are in the description below, as is the vodcast over on the Rough Cut channel. If you haven't subscribed there already, by the way, please hop over and give that channel a sub. It'd be nice to get that to that 10,000 number sooner rather than later. A massive thank you to Eric for giving up his time as well. So if you haven't checked Eric out as well, please head over to his YouTube and check him out on his social media. Okay, let's get into the clip. You can correct me if I'm wrong on this story about you playing at Augusta, but this is this is what I've heard through the grapevine, okay? So every year, Augusta, maybe this year, we'll have to wait and see, there's a ballot for the media. So everyone in the media can put their name into a hat and there's a few people get drawn out. I'm not sure how many. How many is it that get drawn out? Uh, uh, 30. 30. And 30 out of 800. 30 out of 800. And there's people who've been <laughs> reported on the Masters for decades. You know, grizzled old hacks, weather-worn faces, you know, like an old leather boot that'd been standing out on Augusta so long, desperate to get out and play. Eric goes there for the first time and gets drawn out first time. <laughs> I had honestly, I had so many guys from guys and girls and everyone from like magazines over here. When you got in, were like, who, who is, who is this guy? How, how has this happened? The, the anger, well, not the anger, the, the mild hate that was <laughs> directed at you for getting out. I'm sure it's the same as anyone who gets drawn. I've become comfortable with people hating me. So that's hey, fine. Listen, what an amazing not thing! For everybody, but you know, what an amazing I thing to be not liked for. <laughs> the the ironic thing is that you know the Augusta story has nothing to do with me. You know, um, I was asked by Golf Digest by Ashley Mayo if I wanted to cover Augusta with her because uh, they had one extra seat for media credentials. And I said, yeah, of course. Didn't even realize that that would in turn enter me into the media lottery. Um, realized that a few days later and then, yeah, just got got excited about the potential of playing Augusta and went out and entered the lottery. And Ashley had never entered the lottery as even though she'd been there for, you know, some eight or 10 years or something. And I convinced her to join the lottery too. I was like, let's all join the lottery. Like, let's let's do this, you know? And I am not afraid to dream. And, you know, I think that's kind of why Ace Cam means something to me, right? Is that, you know, we go out and every part three, you should dream big. You should, you should believe that you're always going to succeed. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, do I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of us don't, right? I mean, you're, you're, you know, a lot of people are afraid to dream. And anyway, so I, I was vocal about wanting to play in the media lottery at Augusta. And I asked a lot of people about it throughout the week. And for the most part, people had played it if they had covered the Masters long enough. Most people, there was a, there was a couple people that had said, I've been here for 10 years and I've never gotten the lottery. And yeah, the, the Friday at one o'clock was the time that the lottery was supposed to be announced. I went to the desk and they said, We're, we don't have it yet. We'll have it soon. Came back two hours later and someone said, congratulations, some other reporter. And I said, for, for what? And he said, you're playing against on Monday. And I said, no way. And I went and sure enough, I was the first name on the list. Right. I don't know how on earth things like that happen. Um, I asked over and over and over again if it was rigged because then I would have been embarrassed by opening mm. my big mouth. But I was reassured that it wasn't rigged. Now, Christian Hafer was selected the next year. So I do feel like on some level, maybe it is rigged, but then again, why do they care? Why would they care whether I play Augusta or not? And no. some people had the argument that they'd rather go play Augusta with a member or with a friend or blah, blah, blah. And I said, no, 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 this is, this is for me. This is the time I, I want to play Augusta with people who dream about this place and report about this place and are essentially servants to the game of golf that we know and that stay in crappy hotels and go to the same events year after year and live their lives eat sleep breathe golf i don't want to some rich member who's really more concerned with 
stock prices and you know the upholstery on their private jet you know i want to play there with i played there with a kid from sweden mm. uh who was chain smoking the entire time <laughs> and didn't have his own clubs and looked like he hadn't really played much golf in his okay. entire life and i played there with a british guy uh who has a good game and i played there with a local from augusta itself who was freaking out and had a mouthful of dip in it and he could play i think he shot like one or two over and um yeah we just are forever you know brothers for life after that day and um you know i, I mean, never played again but i had, a, had enough time that enough fun on that one time to, to satisfy me right well it's, it's quite i mean you you're right i mean that is a that is a shared experience that you know exceptionally few people are going to have I mean, exceptionally few people are going to get to get to play it anyway. I mean, people saying they'd rather play it with a with a member. I'd play it with a pack of frigging lions chasing me. I like, what whatever whatever it takes, you know. Guys, massive thank you to watching. And remember, this is just a clip from the full podcast. All the links are in the description below, so please go check them out. But please also subscribe to the Rough Cut Podcast as well. Guys, big thank you to watching. Big thank you to Eric once more, and we'll see you all soon.